Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm here at Garrity RV Centers today to show you a beautiful Class B motorhome. It's a great new design, I'm very excited about it. These have only been around for a couple of years. This is a Winnebago Travato. And the Travato is an exciting vehicle because it's built on the Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis. This chassis brings a lot of new properties to camper vans and the biggest thing to me is that it's a front wheel drive. So if you like to do a lot of outdoor stuff, particularly in the winter, uh, skiing or going up you know, and over the passes and things, a front wheel drive, especially here in our Northwest climate, it's a great idea. I say it makes it the Subaru of RVs. That's a neat, neat feature. Another thing that's really cool about this rig is that it's a V6 and it gets decent, decent mileage. Most people, when they use an RV, they're getting eight, nine, 10 miles to the gallon. A Little better with the Class Bs. And certainly with this vehicle, you're gonna get a, a very good fuel economy, probably up to close to 20 miles to the gallon, depending on how you drive. Um, let's go inside and take a look at it. I'm really excited about this new floor plan. Now they have a power step. I've already put it out. It's very easy to get in and out of this. You don't have to crouch like some camper vans because the roof line is high enough so you can just walk right in. This one here has a great design. It's got a rear bath. So now when you look at most camper vans, um, you see that they have the, the folding sofa or some sort of seating or bedding arrangement in the back. And the bathroom's in the middle and what happens is the bathroom gets very congested and it also takes all the living space out of the van. But with this one, the bathroom's way back here and it's got a curtain and everything and there's a nice cabinet here for a wardrobe or storage of, of whatever goods you have and drawers down this way you can pull out. Here's the stool. It even has a sink that's really efficient. It pulls right out of the wall. There's a medicine cabinet and all, all the things you need. Now when you're not taking a shower or using the restroom, this is also accessible from the rear so you can use it as an in and out cargo area. Um, so it's really versatile but the most important thing here is it's not in the middle of the van. So this has more versatility, more visibility and a lot more light and openness than most camper vans do. Now when you look at this design, a long time ago most RVs uh, were, it was very common for them to have twin bed layouts. Twin beds are super efficient because they don't interfere with the use of the whole length of the vehicle. I can walk through this whole vehicle with the beds in place. Um, so this one has twin beds and that's a great design. You see how this bed lifts up a little bit? There's a headrest that goes up and then there's, there's a release down here and we can make it flat for bedtime. The TV set is right here and it'll swivel around so you can see it from your bed or you could see it from your front seating positions. Now, also while I'm back here, I wanna point out, we have a lot of beautiful storage. This is full open space on both sides. And there's also storage down below these beds. So there's a lot of space in these coaches. Notice also the big windows and the ventilation. So you don't have to feel like you're not gonna get some fresh air. Of course, it does have air conditioning and it has a, a, a high capacity exhaust fan built into the roof too. So you can really move some air in here. Here's your media center. And over here is a galley. And this is just a delightful setup because first of all, they've come up with a great set of utilities. This, this little, uh, has a little drying rack and sink and a little rack that mounts here. But it all stores down here together. It's just brilliant. You got a recessed stove top. So, so what happens is I get full counter space. There's a refrigerator, there's a convection microwave oven. So with this, I can bake or use a microwave style cooking. And of, of course, this vehicle has a generator, it has shore power connection, and it also has some solar panels. So there's lots and lots of ways to keep the batteries up and to do your other 110 appliance type things that you wanna do in this vehicle. We have more storage here. Just show you that good stuff. And then this is one of the things I really love about this coach. Now, both the front seats will swivel, and I've got these in the swivel position right now. And so we can turn the whole vehicle into living space. We get to use this front part as living space too. And on each side of the seats, we've got a little desk or a tabletop that comes out. And this side comes out here too. So whether I'm eating or I want to use my laptop or whatever, got a little bit of workspace here, but it doesn't take up the middle of the vehicle. These dinette booths will often just kind of congest up the whole vehicle. So again, the, the main thing about this is it's very, very open, very light and easy to get to. 
The uh, other thing I want you to know about this, I mentioned solar panels. This also has the new Truma uh, heating system, so it will do Insta hot water and it will heat on both electric and propane. And it's, it's just a, a really efficient, affordable rig. This is a Winnebago, so it's a lot more affordable than some of the other high-end uh, B-Vans that you see out there. Let's take a quick look around the outside. Okay, now, on the outside of the vehicle, this is of course Class B101, it's not big, it's small. This will fit in your driveway, it'll parallel park downtown, it'll go in a standard parking space, and it's quite an attractive vehicle. It doesn't look like a big old motor home. And so if you live in a neighborhood where there's an association guideline for what you park in your driveway, most communities are gonna be totally fine with this vehicle. In fact, a lot of people will use these as their primary or secondary vehicle, not just a motorhome. So that'll allow you to consolidate your expenses while you're also able to save fuel. It's just dynamite. Now over here, you see very little functional stuff that you have to do. Here's your propane connector, your shore power connector, your cable hookup. There's, there's not a lot of gobbledygook out here you have to deal with. Your tank fills for your water supply are right here. And this even has a sewer flush system, so after I get done dumping out my holding tank, I can use this to clean it out and make sure I don't have any kind of residual materials. One of the best exterior features on this coach, something I really, really love. I've been selling camper vans for 25 years, and I've seen lots of different ways of putting a bicycle rack on a B-Van. Most of them are not that great. This one's fantastic. That pulls down, it's got lockdowns for your bike, it works dynamite. There's also an optional kayak rack and ladder, so you can actually put kayaks on the roof of this vehicle, which has also been something that I've always wanted to offer. So this is a quick thumbnail sketch of the Winnebago Travato 59K. I'm very excited about this vehicle. If you're interested in seeing it or if you have any questions, give me a call. I'd love to show it to you or even just talk to you on the phone. You can give me a call at 541-954-8495. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.